Hi guys, today I wanted to talk to you quickly about panning in Ableton Live. Panning is where you can spread the sounds out in your production, which helps widen the sound, make your sound more full, and also helps instruments that may be clashing slightly with each other in the stereo environment. So under normal circumstances, especially with those that have just started using Ableton, most would just go straight over here to the right hand side where you can see the C for center, uh, the track pan. Now what, what you would normally think you would do is just to mouse click on that C, drag down to pan your track to the left, or drag up to pan your track to the right. You can double click to go back to the center. Now before I explain what's actually going on here, let's just have a quick listen as I demonstrate that. I will solo the synth and play. Okay, so as you could hear, that did sound like it was panning to the left and panning, panning to the right. But what was actually happening is something called balancing. As I drag down to the left, all I'm doing is turning the right channel off. And likewise, if I pan to the right, I'm just turning the left channel off of the stereo sound. So the correct way to do this is to right click on the track pan and choose Select Split Stereo Pan Mode. Now, as you can see, we've got 50, 50L for left and 50R for right. So we can now individually adjust the uh, stereo sound. If you want to have your sound completely to the left, just drag the uh, right-hand side here all the way down so they are matching 50L, 50L for left hand side. Let's have a quick listen. So it does, probably doesn't sound that much difference to you, but what's actually happening now is that you're not actually turning anything off in the stereo source. You've got both channels running, but they are moving to the left, or if we drag this over to the right. It is now moved to the right. So in terms of stereo panning, they're great for just separating sounds out slightly. So before I do the example, let's just have a quick listen of this loop that I've created. Okay, so everything is just basically in the middle at the moment. So what we can do, let's use our open hats as an example. Let's select split stereo pan mode, bit of a mouthful. What we'll do is we will, we won't go to the extreme left. We'll go to, let's say 16. So just match them. And now if we play it, you should hear that the open hi-hat is now slightly to the left. So now if we do the same for the closed hi-hat, right click, select split stereo pan mode, and we will take this to the right hand side and we'll match it up. So we'll go 16, where are we? And bring this down, 16. Now you should hear the open hi-hat slightly to the left, closed hi-hat slightly to the right. And we've now separated out that top loop and it sounds much better, much clearer. Now just a quick tip, I suppose you could say, on the kick. The kick generally needs to be dead center and for most styles, I would say, it needs to be mono. So what we can do to quickly do that is go down to audio effects, get our utility. So we've selected our kick, drag the utility on and hit mono. Now the kick will never get into the stereo space. It'll always be in mono, which is where you want it. So that is using the pan in Ableton Live. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you like that, please hit subscribe and I'll be back with another tutorial very soon.